Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokémon! My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokémon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokémon. For some people, Pokémon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokémon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Right, so your name is Kevin J. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Er, um, what was his name now? Er, was it Darcy? That's right, I remember now. His name is Darcy. Kevin J. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. What's up, fellow gamers? Kevin J. 2010 here, welcoming you to my brand new LP of Pokemon Fire Red. This is actually my third time recording this, but I'm excited. The first time was a capture glitch. This one is the second one was um, just bad commentary, and this time uh, I'm hopefully going to do a way better job. Brand new LP of Pokemon Fire Red. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, reason why I'm doing Fire Red is because it's been a long time since I've done a Pokemon LP, and what better Pokemon game to do than than the remake of the game that brought me into the series, that brought a lot of people into the series. Um, I played Pokemon Blue back when it first came out. I remember I wanted a Game Boy so badly as a kid. Um, if you come over here to the PC, you can withdraw a potion. It's kind of the staple of Pokemon up until uh, Gen 4, I believe. But anyway, um, and yeah, I played. I had Pokemon Blue growing up, and one of the reasons why I wanted to do Fire Red is because, um, like Overleaf Green, is because when I played Blue version, um, there was one Pokemon in particular that I really, really wanted, and you actually can't get it in Blue version. So I always wanted a Red version, and now it's actually going to be on my team. So that's why I didn't give it away. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go too. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh, yeah. P Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Okay. Okay, Mom. Bye, Mom. Here we are in Palatown. Must say, some of the most iconic music. I think of the 90s. If not just the actual TV show Pokemon theme. Oh, hey, wait. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for protection. I know. Here, come with me. Do, 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 do. I never noticed Professor Oak's hair was so stylish in this game. Do, 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 do. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Darcy? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just, just wait. Here, Kevin J. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. T hey, Gramps, no fair! What about me? Be patient, Darcy. You can have one, too. So here we have our choice of one of three Pokemon. Either Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. Um, I personally prefer using Squirtle for most of my runs. But uh, to talk about all of them, right now all their stats are pretty much the same. But Fully Evolved Bar Bulbasaur is kind of more based on Special Defense and Special Attack, I believe. Squirtle Fully Evolved is more based on Physical Defense and a little bit of Special Defense too, actually. He's just defensive all around. And Charmander is offensive all around with good attack and Special Attack when Fully Evolved. Now for this run, I decided to go... I'm going to decide... I've decided to go with Bulbasaur, because, little story, <laughs> little story, um, when I was a kid, when I first got this game, I had, I had my dad reading through the instructions manual out loud, and needless to say, it may, it, I'm not, I don't think it actually said to use Bulbasaur, but I think I missed a word that he was supposed to say, so, or like I missed a word mentally that he was reading. 
So in the end, I thought he told me to pick Bulbasaur. So that's why I used Bulbasaur for my very first run of Pokemon Blue. But since then, I actually realized like he's probably my least favorite. So I don't really use him all that often. So I decided this time I'm going to use him. So there we go. I'll take this one then. And Darcy received the Charmander from Professor Oak. Okay. So let's get out of here. Wait, Kevin J, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And here we go, taking on our rival. His name is Darcy. I decided to name him Darcy, by the way, in case you didn't get it, because the arse in it. It's supposed to be a joke on, his, on, his, on, like, ass, if you get it. Anyway, he has a Charmander. He'll always pick the Pokemon that beats yours, because fire beats grass. And we have to... I don't like that they put tutorial in this. I really don't like that they put tutorial in this, to be honest. But they did. And I'm mad about it. Anyway. So, I'm gonna growl him first turn. He's faster than me. Gosh darn it. And he's got a fair bit of attack, too. By the looks of it. So I'm gonna growl him. It's gonna tell you more about... Growl lowers his stats. Growl lowers his attack. Your attack stat is pretty basic. It does damage. So I'm going to just growl him a bunch. He's going to keep attacking. Jeez, this growl is not helping, is it? His attack's been lowered three times now. So he should be doing a lot less damage to me. He's doing the same amount. Oh my god! Come on! Just just tackle him, please. He's just, he's just gone for straight up attack this whole time. Inflicting damage, blah, 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 blah. His health gets to zero, whatever. I know what's going to happen, too. Watch. When you're in low health, the game starts beeping at you. And you know what? I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to use a potion. It's important to get to know your Pokemon thoroughly. This is a list. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about freaking tutorials. I can do this. And keep an eye on your Pokemon's HP. It'll faint if the HP drops to zero. Yeah, it's like common like RPG knowledge. That's one good thing that Pokemon brought to kids, is that it made RPGs more mainstream. Now he growls. Because... No Every other time I play him, we'll like growl each other a couple of turns, but there we go. I got the critical hit and he died. The critical hit, you do double damage and you negate all you negate all status afflictions that would do let that would cause you to do less damage. Like you skip, you cut out all the defense boosts that they did, and you cut out all the attack uh, debuffs that you got. And I'm gonna use a League of Legends term there. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Kevin J got 80 Poke Dollars for winning. I don't know what to call it. 80 Poke Dollars or 80... I forget. I think there was another word for it, like Yen or something. But it wasn't like Yen. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle of the trainers and make your Pokemon strong. I will make my Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle. I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Kevin J, Gramps, smell you later. I kind of really wish I saved that first... Uh, bit of commentary that I did because it was actually some it was some good commentary anyway we're gonna come back home for a second because if you talk to mom you should take a quick rest and that heals up all your Pokemon so you want to do that we only have one right now but uh yeah so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna look through the menu just because your name is just like your card it tells you your ID number and everything we have a pretty low ID number you can look at your Pokemon right here and in your bag is where all your items are. You got items, key items, and Pokeballs. We'll explain what those all are as we get them. Basically, items are items that you can just use straight up. And key items are ones you kind of need to hold on to. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips! Press start to open the menu. I just showed them how to do that. We're on the road to Viridian City. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I You know, I'm... I did watch the original Pokemon movie. Does anyone else agree that the first Pokemon movie is like one of the like best movies ever? <laughs> anyway, we got into a battle here. Um, this is a Rattata. I used to always call it Rattatata. And the reason why is I think it's because the double T made me want to pronounce both re both T's really hard. Because you would say Rattata. Rattata. And then it kind of comes out like Rattatata. But I don't know. I was stupid as a kid and it kind of stuck with me. So yeah, I'm still. I basically just call myself stupid. Anyway, um, here on Route One, there's wild Pokemon. That was a Rattata. I'm gonna talk more about the wild Pokemon um, once we're able to catch them. But uh, ooh, it's a Pidgey. It's a Pidgey. P 
pit. It's a piggy. Nah. Dude, 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 dude. Tackled him in the face right now. Yeah, but as I was saying about the first Pokemon movie, that movie was so good. That scene where Pikachu's like thunder shocking, like this uh, petrified Ash. Oh man, that was that was so that was so sad. It was like the saddest thing ever. Anyway, so we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna keep heading up, and it's like we have arrived at Viridian City. Anyway, I don't even know the rest of the words of that song. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. I'm not even sure if that's part of the. I don't even remember what that song is. You know, I don't think I've actually heard that song. I actually had the um the soundtrack for the first two Pokemon movies. I wanted those CDs really badly because that music was fun to listen to. I think Weird Al Yankovic was on the second one too with Polkamon. Not like Pokemon, like Polkamon because it was like a Polka song. It was like, everybody, Polkamon. Man, that song was good. I was like, hey, you came from Palatown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Kevin J received Oak's parcel. Yay, we put it in the key items pocket. That's a key item because you, you can't really get rid of it. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, you can jump over these little uh, mounds of dirt. It's supposed to be like the dirt is um, more elevated so you can kind of like jump over it this way but not over the other way. You know, I really wonder like what went through their minds. It's like, oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to make this RPG but you're allowed to jump over these walls. It's like, what, what, what kind of mechanic is that? Don't worry about it. Anyway, and we made it to that last bit of grass without running to a wild battle. You know, as a kid, that was always like the thing, like that little patch of grass. You're, I was always like, you gotta, you gotta get through it without running into anything. I don't know why, because you can get through the rest of that route without it. But that little patch, I always remember it. Anyway, oh, Kevin J, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. Um, some people think it's the Master Ball, but nah, who knows. I had it on order, thank you. Gramps! I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request for you two. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Kevin, Jay, and Darcy, take these with you. Oh, okay. And we receive our Pokedex. You, you can't get detailed data you can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Those are five Pokeballs. Um, healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Kevin J, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Kevin J. Ha 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 ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to do naughty things to your sister while I'm there, too. It's kind of funny. My friend and my other friend. My one friend picks on my other friend about his sister. It's kind of funny, actually. Anyway. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. And we get a town map from Daisy. I don't know why. <laughs> it's Darcy and Daisy. Oh, that sounds like I, both their names start with D. They're both D Oak. D Oak. Deep Oak. Anyway. Um, if you use the town map here, you can get a nice little uh, map. It's not really of a town. It's of the towns. So as you can see, there's Viridian City. We're going to head to Pewter City afterwards by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward map, I must say. But here we go. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to be going on our adventure. So, I'll talk to you guys all next time.